My name is Tan Khan An. I am a mathematics teacher. I have taught mathematics in rural school for about 20 years. Now I am teaching at Sekolah Menengah Science Tun Said Sheikh Shahabuddin. Today's lesson involves 24 Form 4 science pupils. The topic is histogram. You'll notice the physical arrangement of the classroom is not the norm. This will facilitate group activities which promote interactions and discussions. The classroom setting that includes plants as well as soft pastel color scheme helps create a conducive learning environment. For the set induction, I show the pupils mathematics test scores. Specific questions are asked to activate pupils' prior knowledge and to elicit responses from them. I also show them other forms of charts to present data which leads them to the lesson proper, that is histogram. Good morning, class. Good morning, Mr. Tan. Please sit down. How are you feeling today? Fine, thank you. In the last lesson, we have learned about main, mode, median, and frequency table. Have you done your homework? Yes. Good. Many of you have done very well in your recent mathematics test. Let me show you your mathematics test score. I'm very glad that you are all very hardworking students and you, you like mathematics. Can anyone tell me? What is the mode of the scores? Farhan? It is difficult. The data is not organized. Yes, please sit down. Any suggestion to make the data more organized? Alif? We can group the data into several class intervals and record them in a table. Very good. Let me show you a tally table. Can you see the distribution of the mathematics test scores clearly? Yes. And I'm going to show you another table. Can anyone tell me what is the model class of the data? Sophia? The model class is 80 to 89. Is the answer correct? Yes. It shows that many of you score very high, 80 to 89. Very good. What other pictorial forms can we use to represent the data? Haslin? Budget, sir. Very good. What else? Intan. Fire chat, sir. Very good. You have shown me two very good examples of how to represent the data using pictorial form. Let us revise what we have learned earlier. Here are some common charts. What is this? Very good. How about this? Vitograph. Good. And this? Flychart. Excellent. You can remember what you have learned earlier. Now, other than these few common charts, have you heard of histogram? Anyone? Yeah, Shafika. What is a histogram, sir? I'm going to show it to you, a histogram of your mathematics 
scores. This is a histogram. Do you like a histogram? Yes. Can you tell me what is the model class of the test score from here? Alif, can you tell me the model class of the test scores? Bade, what is the answer? 19, sir. Are you sure it's 90? How about others? Sit down. Okay, uh, Asrin. Sir, the answer is 80 to 89. 80 to 89. Do you all agree, 80 to 89? Yes. Very good. Give you a big clap. <laughs> but do you know what is the mode of the test score? Yeah, are you, uh, yeah. Yes, you, you, you do not know because you are going to learn it today. I'm going to show you how to find the mode using a histogram. I want you to look very carefully between two types of charts. Can anyone tell me what is the difference? Between the two charts? Okay, Idila. They look alike, sir. No wonder you wear spectacles. <laughs> no, just a joke. Okay, sorry. Huh? So, how about others? Farah. No, they are different. One has gaps in between the bars, whereas the others has none. Farah. Excellent. You have made a very good observation. Look carefully. They are different. Can anyone tell me which one is a bar chart and which one is a histogram? Sahizat? Picture A is a histogram and picture B is a bar chart. Do you all agree? Yes. Very good. Give him a big clap. As for contact setting, I use real life problems which require pupils to come up with practical solutions. This is a contextual approach using a learning by doing method. I ask the pupils to go out to collect leaves. I want them to have a feel of nature instead of the mundane classroom activities. Hand-on activities are more meaningful to them compared to data provided in textbooks. To help you to understand the lesson better, I'm going to give you some learning activities. Please look at the instructions on the screen. What you have to do is go to a big tree outside the classroom. Collect 50 leaves from the same tree. You can choose from any type of tree of your choice. Either a mango tree, teja tree, or whatever tree which you like. Discuss among your group members. Collect 50 leaves from the same tree Measure the length of each leaf. I'm going to provide you with boxes of learning materials. Measure the length to the nearest CM. Do you know how to measure to the nearest CM? Yes. All right, good. Record each measurement in the frequency table. I'm going to show you how to draw a frequency table. And you need to construct a histogram based on the data collected. And I would like you to interpret information from the histogram. Is that clear? Yes. Please look at the instruction again so that you know what to do when you go out. All right. This is a frequency table that you need to prepare. I will Ask two groups, group A and group B, to present their data, their findings, using Merilla cards. 
Whereas group C and group D, you are going to present your data, your findings, using an LCD projector. I will provide you with the laptop. I would like the group leaders to come forward to get a plastic bag from me and you can proceed to go to collect 50 leaves from a big tree. And please complete your task in 25 minutes. You need to collect the leaves from outside, bring it to the room, process your data. And after that, I'm going to ask you to present your findings to the class. There will be one pre presentation using Marilla card and another presentation using an LCD projector. Please come forward, group readers, to collect your plastic bags and proceed to go to collect 50 leaves from a big tree. Yeah, okay. You may go out now and come back quickly to complete your task, please. Instructions given to pupils may be seen as ill-defined, but they set the stage for critical and analytical, analytical thinking. During group discussions, you will notice that I move among the groups to facilitate, allowing pupils to have the freedom to explore and make their own decisions. I intentionally allow some questions to be unanswered to provide gaps whereby people might reflect on their problems and carry out their own investigations. Have you all collected 50 leaves? Yes! Let me have a look at your leaves. This is from what tree? Teja. Teja tree. Okay, how about your one? Same. Same, Teja tree. We have a lot of Teja tree in our school. How about your one? Same. How about this one? Mango tree. Mango tree. This one is very special. <laughs> Mango tree. Good. Now, I would like you to uh, measure the length of every leaf and record in the frequency table. Have you got the... Come, please come forward to collect your learning materials. Group leaders, please come forward to collect your learning materials. All right, you have to measure the length of every leaf to the nearest CM. Record every measurement in the frequency table. Draw a histogram and interpret information from the histogram. Group A and B Please prepare the frequency table using Manila card. And some of you may start measuring the leaf now. Group C and D, 
Please take out your laptop and get ready. I'm only I'm going to give you only 25 minutes to complete your task. Please help each other to complete the task. Normally, data findings are presented on graph papers which are not practical for a classroom presentation. Thus, two groups are asked to use Merida cards with grades. Practice on Merida cards help pupils to create graphs manually. This is an important basic skill. Other, graph, other groups are asked to process their data using a laptop and present their findings using an LCD projector. This is to promote ICT usage. People's presentations are important in providing them with the opportunity to develop their communications and presentation skills. Further exercises are given as reinforcement to their learning. People tend to forget what they have learned without constant practice. I allocate some time for the pupils to work on some of the problems in class so that I can check on their understanding before the end of the lesson. We are going to have two presentations. One using an LCD projector and the other group using Merilla cards. Each group has to present the frequency tables the histogram, the model class, and also, also show us how you get the value of the mode. Any group would like to present their data? Group C, good. Please come forward and present your finding. The model class is 10 to 12 because it has the higher frequency. The mode is 11.7. Mr. Roni, please demonstrate and explain how to get the value. First, join point A to B. And then join point C to D. From the intersection of the two lines, draw a vertical line down to touch the X axis. The line that touches the X axis is the mode. The mode is 11.7. That's all for today. Thank you. Very good. Please give this group a big hand. <laughs> Let me ask you again. Can you remember what is the mode of the data? 11.7. Very good. Now I would like to have a presentation from group A or B using Merida cards. Who would like to present their findings? Group A. Very group A. Okay. All right, very good. Please come forward and present your findings.
morning. Here is our frequency table and this is our histogram. Can anyone tell me what the model class is? Azri? The model class is the highest bar in this chart because it shows the highest frequency. The answer is 13 to 15. Yes, correct. Okay, now let us show you how to determine the mode. Label the four points A, B, C, and D. Join points A to B and point C to D. From the points of intersection of the two lines, Farahani will make a vertical line down to touch the X at this. The point that touches the X at this is the mode. The mode is 13.5. That's all. Thank you. Very good. Please give this group a big hand. <laughs> Can you remember what is... The mode of this group? 13.5. Correct? 13.5? 13.5. The other group is 11.7, right? I would like you to think carefully why the modes are different. Anyone? Show me the leaves. What tree is this? Mango tree. How about your, your group? What tree? Teja tree. tree. Since you are from different tree, yes. so the di distribution is different. Now I would like you to do some group work. I prepare some disc for you. I would like all of you to work on your computers. Group leader, please come forward to collect your discard. Please get your laptop ready. You can Work together to solve one problem and bring the rest home as your homework. You may start now. I close with a series of questions to recap the lesson. I end by foreshadowing the next lesson. In conclusion, different pupils have different ways of learning. That is the reason why I adopt an eclectic approach in my lesson design to cater for the different needs of my pupils. All right, we have almost come to the end of our lesson. What have you learned in this, this lesson? Mei Ching? We learned how to group the data into several class intervals. Good. What else? Afika? We learned how to construct a histogram. Any more? 
Rafida. How to find the model class and the mode. Very good. I'm very happy that you have learned, you have understood the lesson. For next lesson, we are going to learn about frequency polygon. See you in the next lesson.